Hi, this is Powell with another Visual Basic exercise. This one is a letter counter. Uh, we are to write a program that takes in a sentence from a user and counts the number of occurrences of each letter. The program should then display how many times each letter appears in the sentence. So I have my form ready. I have a, a list box that will output the letters, one, uh, one letter per line. And next to it, we will output the number of occurrences. We have a start button when clicked, an input box pops up, and uh, user will enter a sentence. The sentence will be displayed on top of the uh, list box. And when I click calculate, under that, we will calculate the occurrences of each letter. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Let me go to double click start button. But before we calculate the start uh, or the get the sentence in, uh, we will be storing the uh, uh, input as a as a string. It's gonna be a string. It's gonna be a sentence. So I'm gonna be doing in dim input as string, and I'm doing it uh, up here because uh, well actually because I need it also for the other button. When I click calculate, I need to have access to this uh, variable as well. So uh, the start button, very simple. Our input equals uh, input uh, input box, and we will do a com uh, little prompt. Please enter the sentence and a title of the. It will be enter sentence that's gonna be like the title bar on the input box we can uh, display the input uh, in our list box so we can you know check the values later so it's uh, all visible it's all on the form uh, so we'll do items that add and we will add the input so this is the sentence and it's displayed it's gonna be displayed right on the top of the list box now I'm for the further comparison, we are supposed to, you know, ca uh, calculate each letter. So, like, so if I have a uh, lowercase a and uppercase a, I want them to be as one. I don't want to uh, like calculate uppercase uh, separate from the lowercase. A is an a, whether it's lowercase or uppercase. So uh, for our internal purposes, after we display the input uh, in the list box, this is just for uh, our calculations. I'm going to convert everything from the input to to lowercase or uppercase it doesn't really matter in this case so um, if I run it quickly just so you can see what's gonna happen when I click start and I will say Powell is the best programmer ever if I click OK it displays the sentence right on the top and now when I click calculate I want the each letter one per line and a number of occurrences next to it so if I click double click calculate and um, I need one character at a time now right now uh, my input is a string so what I what I can do uh, is to convert the string into an array of characters in other words I will have an array and uh, one element will be one character from the sentence so it's gonna be uh, I'll call it character array and it's gonna be a character array as character and it's equals to input that's the string and we are converting to character array there's a method in Visual Basic called character array to correct character array so now my character array is an array of characters one character at a time basically from that sentence they're not counted yet or anything this is as is if i enter powell is the best computer program ever that's what's going to be held in this character array but uh, instead of a string it's going to be one character at a time so it's going to be p as element one a as element two v as element three and so forth well actually starts on zero so zero one two and so forth so uh, I uh, now what we need is an array of characters. 
however without the duplicates we just want all the distinct characters that are in this array all right so um let me see if i can yeah, distinct. Maybe it will actually work this way. To array. Yeah, actually it does. So in other words, now the character array holds only distinct characters from the sentence that we entered. So there are no duplicates. All right. So uh, now nah, that's not gonna work. Actually, never mind. Let me just back back up a little. Yeah, this is the. I do need that, but it's not, it needs to be a separate array. Because that's the array I'm going to be comparing against against the ad original sentence on the, all the original characters. So I'm going to do a dim and I do a distinct array. It's going to be again just a character array. And it's going to hold all the distinct values, all the distinct characters from this array so it's equals to character array dot and there's a distinct uh, method or function it and it says it returns distinct elements from a sequence by using the default equality comparer in other words it will go into this character array it will compare each letter with uh, each other and returns only uh, one distinct character per each character in other words if I if there's five A's in this array, it will only return one A. So I will do distinct. And we have to convert it to an array because we are we're moving it into an array. So now I have an array of distinct characters and now I have the array of the characters, all the characters from the sentence. So what I have to do now is count the occurrences from the original uh, sentence of from the original character array so I will create a, a variable called counter as integer set it to zero and after that we can do for loop for i as integer equals zero to uh, and this is going to be the um, distinct array dot count minus one because obviously we started from zero it's zero based so this will loop through all the distinct characters or from this array so there are no duplicates here so i have only distinct characters so now i'm going to do an inner loop i'll do for j as integer equals i because we are uh, we are going to be looping uh, we are going to be moving forward we don't we don't need to loop through the whole loop again and again we need to start from the next available letter so this is the character array dot count so this is the array with the, all the characters including the duplicate characters so the, the outer loop loops through the distinct characters and the inner loop loops through the through all the characters and now if we have a match if this character matches this one we will simply increase counter by one because we got, we found a match so if our uh, uh, distinct array of element i equals the character array of the element j then we have a match we can increase increase the counter plus equals one so if this is a letter a and it comes over here and it moves moves forward and let's say it finds another a it adds one now correct now counter will equal to one it goes again if it finds another a it will now equal to two when it's done with this loop when it goes all the way to the end of the sentence or all the characters then it comes back here to the distinct array moves to the next letter and starts looping again it doesn't start from zero it starts from whatever i equals to because we, otherwise if i start from zero i would have uh, counted 
again and again the same letters that I already counted. So, uh, okay, so that's really all. Now we have to just output the, the result. So, um, after, actually, after this loop, not after the outer loop, but after the inner loop, we can output the result to the uh, list box. So, output that items that add and we will we will add the uh, distinct array uh, character whatever is being there plus and we'll just format it somehow like three dots five dots yes and uh, and the counter now the counter is an integer so we'll just convert it to string because this is an output uh, to display now, if one thing we need to do, we need to uh, reset the counter after we finished checking one letter. We need to reset it to zero so the next letter can be checked. So counter equals zero. All right, so let's see what we have. So again, I will do Powell is the best programmer ever. So you can see there's some capital letters, some lowercase. So that's our sentence. And when I click calculate, it says P. Letter P is that twice. So let's see, P over here. Powell is the best P over here. And it's both capitals, but it counts as, uh, well, they're both capitals. And I don't see any other, so that seems to work. Let's say R, R is four. So Powell is the best and here's R, programmer, here's another one, and at the end is other one, that's three. And there's a capital one at the end, the word ever, so that's four. So you can see that it calculates the lowercase and uppercase the same, so it's four. It has a, even exclamation point, there's one. It, it doesn't just do letters, it obviously does do every characters, including spaces, like there's five spaces over here. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, and there's five spaces. So let's check one more letter, M, for example. Powell is the best, that's two M's, programmer, and that's all. So if I do T, Powell is T over here, and best, at the end, that's T, so that's two, and that's all, and it matches the output. So yeah, it seems to be working. Uh, one thing we could do, if I click start again, we should be probably clear in the box, uh, otherwise, the, uh, you know, if I enter something now, it adds it on the bottom. And if I click calculate, it adds it on the bottom. We probably want a clear input. So uh, when I click start over here, I will do list output dot uh, items dot clear. So if I do it now, something here, calculate. And if I do it now again, it, it clears it, it uh, displays the new sentence, and it displays the new uh, count. All right, so um, yeah, here you have it. It's fairly short. Uh, what you need to re uh, realize or remember is that uh, you need to count the characters. So we need to use the two char array uh, method to convert or to create an, a character array from the string input. And over here, in order to count the uh, letters, we need to know what letters there are. And so we get the distinct letters, only only uh, distinct letters, uh, create an array of those. And then from there, we calculate or we, we loop uh, through the uh, all the characters from the sentence, the original sentence, and compare it to the uh, distinct values. And if there are matches, you know, then we will increase the counter and then we will output you know the the letter which is the distinct letter in this case because there's again we want to output the distinct letters otherwise you would have duplicates uh, in the output and you output the counter and of course you have to reset the counter at the end so here you have it hope this was helpful and uh, as always don't forget to like comment share and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.